What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So we're actually about to go out on my pond in my backyard. So today's challenge that I'm going to be taking, as you guys know, a few vlogs back, I went out there, fished out there for like five hours and I literally just could not, I only got one fish and I tried so hard to catch them. So today we're going to try to redeem ourselves, go out there because the fishing has just been rough and it's just the month. It's just really rough. The hurricane just came through. So it's just not doing the best out there. But the challenge for today is to try to beat what I did last time, which I only caught one little fish. So I'm hoping that we can go out here and actually put a hurt on these fish. So I'm actually gonna be throwing two different baits today, nothing moving. I'm gonna be throwing just a standard shaky head with a, with a worm on it and also a little drop shot with a little tiny worm on it. So that's what we're gonna be throwing today. Very slow because these fish are not active whatsoever and we're gonna to hope to catch some big ones. All right guys, got this little drop shot on right now. I just saw some activity right here by the bank. I'm not even gonna open my gate yet. I'm just gonna pitch this right out there. I saw some activity, saw some something keep coming up to the top of the water right there. So that'd be crazy if I just caught one right off the bat. <laughs> that should be a fish right there. That should be it. There we go. Ain't too bad. Ah, he's kind of small. Don't even look like a bass, but it is. Gosh, get on the bank, baby. I haven't even been out here long. It's a good sign. How did I hook him? Oh my God, that's why he felt so big. Look how tiny he is. I hooked him right here in the gill. <laughs> look at that. That's hilarious. Right on his outer plate right there. Look how tiny that guy is. He actually felt kind of good. That's hilarious. It's a good release on her. Little dude. So I haven't beat my last time yet because that fish is smaller. But that is a good sign. And that was right off the bat. So let's go through and hopefully catch some more fish. I'm thinking we will. I'll, I was about to switch from this drop shot to that shaky head. But I think I'm going to throw this a little bit longer since I just got that bite. I was working that bait a little bit slower that time. I was just kind of dragging it. Wasn't hopping it at all. I do feel a little bit of structure out there. Um, it's almost like there's some rocks on the bottom right out there. When I'm dragging it, I kind of feel them. See, normally with the drop shot, I, I'd be hopping it like crazy like this and just kind of shaking it, kind of just lowering my tip and just going like this and letting that thing kind of bounce. But lately with how slow these fish have been, I've just been having to pretty much drag it just like this. And when that line's tight on that drop shot, when the pressure's on that line, that bait's gonna wanna elevate, so it's gonna stay up. But when you let, let slack in your line, just like I am now, that bait flutters down. So once I tighten up my line again and start dragging, that bait elevates. Then when I leave slack, it slowly drifts down. And that's really what triggers this fish to bite. So especially when you're being slow, you just slowly drag that bad boy, then just let it sink. And usually when those fish are super, I mean, when it's so rough outside, I mean, most of the time you should be able to catch them. Oh, oh, he broke me off. Oh my God. I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive that was a gar. I know exactly what that feels like. Exactly. Let's see if it's like a razor blade. It's not like a razor blade though. It sure felt like someone was just gnawing on it. It didn't feel like a bass at all. Gosh. Well, we're gonna run inside real quick and retie this. I can't believe that. Maybe that's a good sign that we're getting bites. Gosh, I could have had a redemption on the other day, just right there. Alrighty, so got my weight. That's just a cheap Walmart drop shot weight. That's actually all I've ha I'm having. That's all I have right now. I don't know why I can't talk. This is a cheap little drop shot weight. This is a trocar hook. Um, I actually only have one more of each of those, so I actually need to pick some more up. Some of the hooks I might have in my truck, I haven't really checked yet. Gosh, I can't believe I missed that fish. I might be re-spooling the spinning rod, but just for a little quick tip right here, this is how you tie a drop shot. So you're going to put the line through the hook. Make sure the hook is pointing up towards the line. I tie a uni knot in specific, so I'm going to make sure my tag end's very long by giving it more leader line right here. Once you do that, just tie your standard knot. Like I said, I prefer a uni knot. After that, you're gonna cinch your knot down. 
is a very important step. So you have your tag end right here. You're going to go back through the eyelid. What that's going to do is going to cause the point of this hook to face straight up. So as you can see, holding that like that, that hook is literally straight parallel with your line. That is very important. So when you lift up to hook set that fish, it's going to go right into the top of his mouth and you're not really going to have a problem. I rarely hook set with a drop shot. I mean, most of the time you can just reel it right into their mouth. I had to grab some scissors with these drop shot weights. I'm just going to standard tie it on. I'm not going to have my leader too long, maybe uh, 10 to 11 inches. Now I'm going to tie this bad boy on. Alrighty, so we got this tied on. It's actually about a foot long leader, maybe a little bit longer than that. And now going to just nose hook the type of hooks that I have. It's just regular octopus hooks. Just going to nose hook that bait. This one is not weedless. If you guys want to know more about drop shots, drop a like on this video, leave a comment below, and I can actually make one of the Tackle Tuesdays over a drop shot. I can show you how to rig it where it's weedless, how to rig it where it's not weedless, where you just want to nose hook it, and all the key tips about a drop shot. But that was just a quick little demonstration on how to tie one. Now let's get out here and catch some more fish. Gosh, I hope these fish are turning back on. I got that bite about right there. I'm going to pitch it right in there and see if I could possibly trigger that thing. I really don't think it was a bass. Uh, oh, my God. <gasps> yeah, it is. It's a good one, too. Oh, my God. He threw my worm. There we go. <laughs> First flip in there, guys. We're demon. Oh, my gosh. Yes. He took my worm, but honestly, I don't care. That was worth it. Gosh. This is obviously not the guy who broke me off, so there's more fish out here, but pretty fish. Look at that guy right there. Nothing wrong with that pretty fish right there. I thought he was a lot bigger. I thought he was about three pounds. What is that? That's a piece of grass. Pretty fish. Let's get a release on her. All right, that drop shot's been doing pretty good so far. That's crazy. I just flipped in where I got that bite. There might be more. Uh, he actually just threw off my worm. And so before I walk inside and go grab another one, how about I just flip the shaky head out here with the speed worm on it and uh, hop it around a little bit right there. That is insane, guys. Didn't even move my bait. He just already had it in his mouth. So I'm gonna hop this, hop this little shaky head right here. Hopefully catch another one. Cause one broke me off a minute ago and I know that's not that one because the hook was not in his mouth. That would have been insane if that was the same fish though. Like I said, I truly don't think it was a bass. That fish felt pretty good when I hook set it. Not gonna lie, I thought he was way bigger than that. Oh my gosh, there's my worm. I know I can get it. Yeah, here's my worm. I'm gonna throw this drop shot again. I mean, I had, I had both my bites on this drop shot working in a certain way. And three bites, matter of fact. That, that was awesome. So guys, I actually got off the water because it was getting a little too dark. Um, I did, I did beat my little challenge because I did better than the last time. That's all I really wanted to do, to be honest with you. That fish that I lost, that was pretty crazy because I really don't think it was a bass because I pitched in there and what, the way he was biting it just did not seem like a bass was biting it and it just broke right away. I was expecting it to be like razor sharp, like at the end, like teeth cut it, but it wasn't. Um, but yeah, I caught those two fish. It's just been rough. It's just been so bad. And I, I did, the, the bait profile I was throwing was a lot smaller. I was working in a little bit more finesse, you know, had a lot more bites. Um, I know if I had a lot more time to fish, I really only had, I didn't even have an hour to, out there to fish. So I'm not complaining too much. Um, I've been so packed. Today was actually my second day of school. Um, the first day, I actually, I have a few stories I want to tell you, but uh, right now it's actually 11 o'clock. I just got home from the gym, and I'm going to cook me some food, and uh, then go upstairs, edit this video, get it ready for you, ready for you guys, do some homework, and uh, hopefully get up at around 6.37 tomorrow, and uh, hit the gym again. I'm getting my routine back, just grinding, you know, putting in the work. Um, of all aspects, being well-rounded through everything. Um, and I can't be more blessed. And 
Uh, I've just been so happy lately, just knowing that I'm doing fishing. I'm, I'm gonna be traveling with the team. I'm in school, getting that 4.0, starting my major. I'm over here doing all these videos. And I've been in the gym, I wanna say, I think today was 40 days straight, um, cooking every single meal. I've never been happier, to be honest with you. Um, it, it's just been outstanding. And uh, please don't skip over this stuff because I, I want you guys to grasp upon it. Um, everything's just been great. You know, life has been amazing. And the fact that everything that I've been doing lately, just training, 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 cooking my food, putting 120% effort into my schoolwork, um, going out there, creating videos, be, making sure to post three videos a week for you guys, no matter what. Like, I just got home, it was 11 o'clock. I actually have a photo shoot tomorrow. Um, I have practice tomorrow. Then Friday, I have to wake up at five for workouts, for um, athletics. Then I have practice after that. I'm just so slammed and I promise you I'm trying my best to get three videos out a week for you guys. And that's no excuses. I think I'm seven or eight months straight on three videos a week. Um, I haven't missed an upload. I'm 40 days straight in the gym, cooking every meal. Uh, you know, I achieved my goals with grades last year. It's just been amazing. And you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't sh uh, try to strive and be the best at everything you're doing. And that's really what I wanted to say. But moving on, um, I want to talk about the past couple of days. Let's uh, get a, le a little less serious right now. So first day of school, last year, my first day of college, I ended up getting pulled over by the cops, all right? I posted the video over it. You guys can go watch it if you want to watch it. This is an old vlog. I probably, I'm not, I don't get embarrassed, but it's probably embarrassing if I watch it. But, um, so I got pulled over the first day of school last year by the cops. Well, the first day of school was yesterday, not yesterday, the day before yesterday. And I was going to get my physical. I had to wake up like at six o'clock. I drove, got my physical, hectic, tons of people. I was there for like an hour, 30, hour 45. Was driving home and I had to go to class. So I wanted to drive home, cook myself a big breakfast and uh, get to class. So I was about to turn in my subdivision in my neighborhood and I was going a little fast. It really didn't feel like I was going that fast. It was one of those times when you're like in the moment and you're just going. And uh, yeah, some cop pulled me over and I was like, great. First day of school, got pulled over by the cops again. Second year, it's like a little tradition. I'll throw a little Snapchat up right now. And uh, man, that guy pulled me over. I saw the guy get out of the car. And I'm like, man, that guy looks familiar. I've only had one ticket in my lifetime. I got pulled over probably 20 times, but it's for dumb stuff like lights, uh, my light bar, uh, green light, just stupid stuff. And uh, I only got one ticket and then that was, I wanna say January, March, probably around March or April this, this year. Um, and it was for an illegal U-turn. So this cop, he pulls me over and I noticed the same guy. I'm like, oh my God, he like remembered me and we were just talking and uh, he ended up being pretty nice. He did give me a ticket, but he did lower the speed. So when I had any points on my license, I could just pay it off. Just always stupid stuff happening. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I told him I was being honest with him. I was like, dude, I'm like trying to make it to class on time. first day of school. I'm just being honest with you. But uh, <laughs> that was crazy. Um, one more thing I wanted to talk about. What was it? What was it? What was it? Yes. Yeah, so we, I, I'm taking this photo class and we had to go do this thing. Uh, it started raining. We were like walking around outside, uh, taking pictures and crap like that. So we get inside. I noticed it started to rain. We we're walking inside. I had like 20 more minutes left of class and I get out and I'm talking pouring. I've never seen it rain so bad in my life. And my truck's like parked a mile away. So like I take my backpack off and I got my computer, everything in there. I'm talking sprinting. By the time I got my car, I'll show you the Snapchat right now. By the time I got in my car, I was drenched. I mean, this is today. This is the same shirt I was wearing. It just ended up drying off, but like, I've never been so drenched. I only got water dripping from my face. It was hilarious. My shoes, my brand new shoes, I gotta wash those. Gotta, they're actually in the washer right now. Uh, just stupid stuff, but God, I just want to tell a few, a few stories. First couple days of school update, you guys. Make sure you guys stay motivated. Make sure you guys are putting 110% effort in everything you're doing in your life. 
And I really preach that because I want the best out of all you guys. And I hope that I motivate you guys. And uh, you guys are striving to be the best every day and get better every day. You know, every fish you catch, getting better. Every rep in the gym, you're getting better. Every test that you get an A on, you're getting better. You're getting better in life. Um, you're being a better person. It's just great. But uh, overall, thank you guys so much for watching. Just keep striving to be the best and uh, keep reaching your goals. You know, I've never felt better in my life than probably the past two weeks. And um, it's just been amazing. And it's because I'm putting in the work, putting in the time, working every hour. And that's no joke. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, please smash the like button. Please comment below. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I apologize for not too many fish catches and stuff in this video today. But I'm really crammed. I've been working like crazy. I will be fishing at practice tomorrow, which I will record. Which that will probably go out Sunday. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. They said, they don't